if you have some problems installing one of these images or versions that we have for this course for example that you have these the pro errors and you have all of these errors this is the video where we are gonna make some fixes fix i'm gonna copy first i'm gonna copy this and paste it right here and you can see that we have all of these errors let's open this bitnami for example and and you can see we have bitnami here you can click here on manage servers and you will find the mysql and the apache server you can click here on mysql and configure then you open the open con file and you click here on yes so of course this this process may, dif may be different if you have a map or one or things like that but the my that cnf file is always there in all the but in all the project the software that you are using here right after the mysql and i'm gonna add this sql mode equals to no engine substitution and i'm gonna copy this copy and paste right here Another thing that you can do here is that you can increase the max allow packet. And I'm gonna change this to 266 megabytes. And you can copy this, copy, and paste right here also. Paste. And I think this is it for this section. I'm gonna click here on File, Save. And I'm gonna close this. Then I'm gonna click here on OK and I'm gonna restart the servers. And you can see it says restarting. And now you can see it's running. So I'm gonna restart also Apache. So everything is back to the defaults and while we're starting. Of course, the file that we have changed is gonna remain changed. And now you can see that we have restarted both of these. So I'm gonna open the installer.php again. And here I'm gonna add the credentials again. The name of this database is called Vietnami underscore WordPress. And you have to make sure that you add the name of your database. Next we add the, the path, the user is root in my case, of course, in your case may be different. And finally, I'm gonna pass one, two, three. Check this, I've had read all the warnings and you can test the connection and you can see it's working. Now you can connect and remove all the data. This is important, I forgot that. And you can run the deployment. Click here on OK and let's start the deployment. And you can see here we have the update files and database. I'm gonna click here on run update. And now you can see that we don't have any errors. Deploy errors equals to zero, and you can click here on test site. And now you can see everything is working. So that's uh, something that may happen to you. If you're working with the plugin duplicator, that's, that's well, that's something that could happen to you. And here is the fix that will allow you to continue your learning in this course. So let's continue or let's, well, let's continue working with this course.